So for the last few months, I've been driving around and I've been having this vibration problem. It's not too bad, it's a little subtle, and it generally goes away about a half hour into the drive. After doing some research and putting two and two together, I started realizing that due to the pandemic, I don't drive to and from work anymore. So my car sits and sometimes it sits for two weeks, three weeks, and the longer it sits, usually around that eight to 10 day mark, that's when that vibration starts coming in. So I started realizing because it sits on a flat concrete floor, I'm starting to get flat spots. And while these flat spots kind of work themselves out in 30 minutes, they're starting to really drive me crazy because you start thinking, is, do I have an alignment problem? Do I have a weight issue? Do I have this? Do I have that? Another thing too is just getting constant flat spots on your tires is just generally not a good idea. While digging through some solutions, I found one of the companies I use regularly, Race Ramps, has a solution called the Flat Stoppers. So I reached out to them to see if they'd be willing to send me a set to check out. And in today's video, I'll let you know the results, how easy they are to use, and some opinions from people who've had them for a long period of time. All right, so one of the main reasons I decided to go with flat stoppers over any other solution is because I drive my car throughout the winter. So when there's no salt on the road, there's no snow on the road, I wanna have the ability to take the car out without having to go through a major hassle because that kind of ruins the fun of, in the moment, it's a sunny day, let's take the car out for a ride. Now with the flat stoppers, I just simply have to drive forward just enough to clear the front ramps, hop out of the car real quick, kick the ramps out of the way, and then drive off. All right, so quick chat about the flat stoppers. So it is made of a foam material and it's got a nice rubber coating on it so it doesn't slip. Nothing really sticks to it, which is good. It's not like sticky, but it doesn't slide when you're trying to drive up on it. Um, the foam is ultra light, like this barely weighs anything. And they do support 1500 pounds each. Um, and you can see here where it gives a little bit, uh, kind of squishes down from the weight of the car. This is because the flat stoppers are designed to conform to the wheels of your car. And regarding longevity, this is after three seasons of use. You can see there's a little bit more conforming going on, but the product is still usable. And I'm gonna estimate it's got a couple more years of life left in it. All right, so with my tight garage, space is at a premium. So one of the cool things about these race ramps, the flat stoppers pack up into a tiny little package. This tiny little package is weighs almost nothing. And each one of these supports 1,500 pounds, which is pretty nuts. And during the summer, you could tuck them away up on a shelf somewhere. Now, as I said before, race ramps have been in the workplace drive garage for quite some time. Now, I have a set of cradles that I've been using for the last few years. So when I do suspension work, so when I did the air suspension on the Scat Pack and the Hellcat, you basically drop the car onto these cradles, and then you can tighten down bolts while under the car, while the car suspension is on load. So there's a few bolts that require to be torqued under load. This helps you do that. It also helps when you're adjusting the air suspension. When you drop the car down to the ground, you don't have the clearance to get a jack under it. Leaving these underneath the tires really allows that to happen, which is pretty awesome. My next race ramps purchase is going to be the ultra long ramps. So you can get over the splitter, so you can drive the car straight up onto the ramps without having to worry about the Hellcat splitter, the Scat Pack splitter, and you can get under there and change the oil. That's my next purchase. Um, and. Those also kind of break down nice and small so I can store them easier. If you guys are looking for a solution for vibration, similar to my issue, this is a good option. This gets the tires off that cement floor. It gets them protected from the hot, cold, hot, cold. And it also offers them a nice soft cradle to sit in. So if this solution interests you, uh, I got links in the description below. I got links to Amazon and links directly to race ramps. Remember when you're sizing them, you want to size it a little bit larger than your existing tire. So if you have a 305, don't buy the 12 inch. A 305 is 12.05 inches. So you might hang over the edge a little bit if you don't get it just right. So for a 12 inch tire, go for a 14 inch 
Or if you're gonna be doing 315s, go for the Big Mac Daddy, 16 inches. Got a Dodge Viper, 335s, 16 inches the way to go. If you're looking to purchase these, I'll have links to all of them in the description below. I'll have Amazon affiliate links, so when you make purchases, it helps the channel, you pay a low price, Amazon pays me some of their profit. Uh, I'll also link directly to race ramps. Pick whichever option is cheaper, because Workplay Drive is all about saving you cash, not making money off of these videos. But every couple pennies helps, especially when companies like Amazon is gonna pay me, and it's not coming out of your pocket. One more time, I just wanna drive home the convenience of the race ramps. Easy to store and easy to set up. So right now I'm expecting snow uh, for the next week. The full week it's gonna snow. It's supposed to be probably somewhere around a foot or something like that. So basically what I would normally do is pull the car in the garage and then forget to do anything to protect the tires. With the race ramps, one extra minute of setup, basically put them in place, align them the best I can to my, you know, tape lines. I'm gonna try and kick it in place, but then I'm gonna realize, you know, my OCD is gonna get the better of me. I gotta line it up perfect. There we go. And again, super simple to set up. There's no reason to pull my car in and pull it out later and try and arrange it. As soon as I get home from work, I can easily do this. Now let's talk about something that they don't show you in some of the other Flat Stoppers videos. What if you have a tight garage? For me, I've got three inches in the front, three inches in the back to play with. I don't have the ability to roll into the garage, throw some flat stoppers down, and then roll back and still have two feet in front, two feet behind the car. We're talking I have to be precise within an inch or two, otherwise I'm either going to hit those shelves in the back, or I'm not going to be able to close the garage door. And the first two times I tried lining this up, I obviously didn't get it just right. Hence the tape lines on the floor. Once I got those nailed down, it's real simple. I just back in until I kind of hit the flat stoppers and the car is going to actually stop. You know, basically under its own power, it won't go up the ramps. Then I just roll forward a little bit with neutral. Once it levels out on the ground, I put the car in park. Then I hop out and I take care of aligning each one of the flat stoppers. Start by putting in the fronts. I put them right up against the tire, align them with the side of the car so they look nice and straight. Go around to the rear, move it forward to line up with the tire. Of course, check my work, doubt myself for a moment. Move around to the other rear tire, just kind of pop it forward. Now, as you can see, I've got a couple inches on the side of these flat stoppers, and I have a couple inches on the other side. So with the 16 inch, I've got four inches to play with, really nice and now for the scary part I'm not gonna lie the first two times I did this it was pretty scary just for the fact that you know you're inching closer to these shelves you're trying to drive up these ramps you don't know if that back piece is gonna stop you or not and I mean this is only my third time parking the car on these things so it gets very easy very quickly just trust the process and that's it if you guys are interested in grabbing yourselves a set of race ramps, I'll have links in the description below. The first set of links will be to my Amazon affiliate, the second set directly to race ramps. Pick whichever one's cheaper. Amazon affiliates does help the channel by giving me a little bit of Amazon's profit, but you go for the option that's cheaper for you. If you guys enjoyed this video, please gently press that like button. If you're stopping by for the first time, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching.